Hi guys, welcome to my lab. Well, it's my basement actually. <laughs> but I got something new to show you here. I'm pretty excited about. It's the 16 by 32 LED matrix uh, kit that I got from China. It has tons and tons of surface mount components that I have to solder. But it's actually working. And uh, thanks to my friend Tony who helped me with this. He even, uh, well, I'll tell you more about it later. <laughs> So this is what the finished board looked like. It has 10 integrated circuits. Uh, I think it has 16 transistors. And of course the LEDs has to be soldered and each of them has I think 16 pins. So tons of soldering. It was pretty intimidating to see all these uh, soldering that I have to do and how tiny they are. But with proper equipment, actually it turned out alright. A really fine tip soldering iron with uh, Temperature control is essential, of course, and soldering flux. This thing is like magic. Basically, you use it like a highlighter. You highlight the area that you're about to solder, and then you put your component, and then you solder as usual. And what it would do is somehow it prepares the surface, and your solder will stick to the surface where you apply the flux pen to, rather than to your soldering iron. It's really amazing stuff. Obviously, when working with such small parts, another useful tool would be a magnifying lamp. I got uh, this one from Harbor Freight, and it doubles as my workbench lamp when I'm not using it as a magnifier. And it just attaches to the bench, and it's really handy. So now I gotta tell you the story about how I drop one of these tiny, tiny transistors on my carpet. Our carpet is pretty thick, shag carpet. It's really awesome to walk on but not awesome to find parts in. <laughs> uh, to illustrate my point, I put a resistor in there intentionally, and you could see how hard it is to find that resistor. Now imagine a part that is probably one-fifth the size, and it's completely black. <laughs> so I had to give up looking for it after a while. Uh, my wife even tried to help me, and we could not find it. And so my friend Tony, that's where he comes in. He has an awesome collection of transistors. And of course he has uh, the full-size equivalent of the surface mount transistor that I, I lost. So he kindly gave me one. Thanks, Tony. And now I have to figure out how to mount this through-hole component larger than the component I'm replacing. And there are no holes for me to put this component through. So I came up with this plan. Basically, I I bend the legs of the big transistor such that it matches the pads that used to be for the service mount. It would have been nice if the pinouts matches between the new transistor and the pads, but I wasn't so lucky, so I actually have to do some contortion to bend the lead of the new transistor, of the replacement transistor, to match the pads that was already there. But I thought it turned out pretty good. I put a little dab of uh, hot glue to make sure that it doesn't move around and rip off the pad. And as you can see, it works just fine. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.